Good morning, Sean. It's Monday, February 4th. So lately, on-campus parking has been quite an issue because of the snow and ice covering up the lines on parking lots. Apparently, people need little yellow lines to show them where and how to park, and I find this quite troubling. You see, I think it still makes sense to leave the least amount of space possible between cars while still allowing the occupants to get in and out comfortably, but some people seem to think that because the lines are gone, they get all the room they want. They will leave not enough room for a car on one side and far too much room for a car on the other side, and it's incredibly frustrating to see that if these people had simply parked just a few inches farther to one side, one or two more cars might have fit in the row. Most people, upon seeing such horrendous parking jobs, will take their frustration with them to another parking space, which often means parking in a different lot, depending on what time of day they arrive on campus, but I am not most people. If there's enough space for my car and I can get out of a door without damaging anybody's vehicle in any way, I will park in that spot. I don't care if it's a bit more difficult to get out, I'll go onto the passenger doors if I have to. One time, I crawled out the right rear passenger door, and I do this for a few reasons. One, because I don't have the time to drive around three different lots to find a comfortable spot. B, because I actually enjoy the challenge. And Theta, most importantly, I want to tell these people that parking in such a manner is not okay. Just because the lines are covered up doesn't mean you get to park wherever and however you want. If you are going to be a jerk and park in an illogical, disrespectful, inefficient way, and I can still park next to you despite making it uncomfortable for both of us to get in and out of our cars, I will park next to you. I will park where other people are afraid to park. By doing this, I'm trying to send a message. I'm trying to say that they are wrong and I am different. Now, this was going pretty well until this afternoon when I came back to my car to find a note left under my windshield wiper. I won't read it on the vlog because it's not exactly vlog friendly, but the basic message was don't be surprised if your door is smashed in next time. First, I felt bad that I'd caused someone to be that angry, and then I was confused as to why they were angry. I had managed to park between them and the car to their left despite one or both of them leaving barely enough space for me to get out of my car without putting any scratches on anybody's vehicle. Sure, one of the drivers would have to come back and enter their car through their passenger door, but they had left about four feet in which to do so, whereas I had to go out through my passenger door having only about a foot to do so. After I got the note, I began to think about this method of communication and how ineffective it was. There's only opportunity for one or two statements on either side, and usually it's the first person saying, I'm going to park irresponsibly, and then me saying, well, I'm going to park next to you anyway, and that's the end of it, unless the first person decides to leave a note before driving off and leaving me with no way to respond. Clearly, the message I sent was not received, and I'm going to have to find a different way to communicate or expect anger from the people with whom I'm trying to communicate. Also, I'm not talking about parking. The Spanish word of the week for today is estacionar, which means to park.